as a young and do it all for the G. I'm holding conversations, tapping the mental. We trying to build like a king. Sit down with G Connect, gotta think. I'm spitting the game with bass. I got a shout out today. As a young and do it all for the G. I'm holding conversations, tapping the mental. We trying to build like a king. Sit down with G Connect, gotta think. Uh, I'm spitting game with the bass. I got a shout out today. Uh, it's Sean Bookie the name. You listening to G Connect with D and G Two Bs. A generation conversation. You ain't got the patience. Yeah, man, you know, with your boy Nino Brown, man. And I, right, man, Yard Down Music, YDM, most G Connect, with different generations have real conversations. Like, subscribe, tap that button, tune in, share, and we're going to keep it 1,000 on this thing, man, you know? Tune in. I'm thinking I'm going to go over there and I let the nigga the tag on the wall in the bathroom, and rush him. Shit. Nigga, they whooped our ass, nigga. The whole school squad. Like, this shit, like, you ask anybody that it, went to the horse. Nobody game. else, black help you three niggas? Just you three niggas gets all the money? Nah, 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 nah. It went up. It went up like jail. It went up. But it was just my two main niggas that I grew up with as a little kid. I told them, walk with me over here. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So when I walked over there, it was just us three. Like all the blacks, we hung on the basketball courts at the bitches, you know, or in the back, you know, the, the um, Hispanics had their own area. They always be on the grass field, like where they play soccer and shit. So when we went over there, we knew like that's where the little 18th Street be that little clique called BTR back then. But back then, uh, some of the dudes I grew up with, they was from GBB, getting bitches daily, Rufus Black players, shit like that. So we went over there. You know, a nigga took flight, nigga get off, and they whooped us so bad, man. Or somebody ran and said, man, we over there getting beat up by the essays. And it's crazy because it don't supposed to be like that, but I never knew jail was going to be like that later. And shit, the whole school took off, nigga. We was popular. So when they told us we were getting whooped, man, the whole school took off, man. I got kicked out that motherfucker. But when I got kicked out of there, they sent me to Bethune on the east side. You know, that's the East Coast Central. I got some cousins that's right there from 6 9 So I kind of got a little pass over there, but I you know, lasted there two weeks, man. So Ma's like, fuck that. We finna send this nigga out of here. He sent me to Covina. I go out there, I do cool, play sports, you know what I'm saying? Nigga balling. Nigga always was an athlete. You know what I'm saying? Even my coaches was mad. You know, it was just a nigga environment was fucked up. That's why a nigga was able to squabble like that. The nigga was always like a real athlete, you know what I'm saying? So I was in top of the line shape. I was bigger than what I was, you know what I mean? So uh, so one of my guys, he can vouch for it. So uh, she tried to sit in the Covina, man. They tell me, man, get 10 tackles. You know, nigga, I used to running from niggas so long, shooting at a young age. Nigga wasn't even playing with guns. Nigga was fast. So now they put me in a track meet. I'm running 100 yard dashes, getting first place. And, Relay races, that shit don't work. They got motherfucking 18 streets out there. Them motherfuckers jump a nigga walking home. I'm like, man, this this ain't no different. I might as well go to the land. Go back to school where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? But I'm out here on a good track. You know, I'm not, I'm trying to leave the gang shit alone and play sports and shit, but I'm going to tell a motherfucker where I'm from or whatever. You know, motherfucker be messy. All the the back keep calling you back. Nigga, yeah, man, the, new the streets guy. keep calling you back. The streets keep calling you back. I got you. Yeah, man. Like, you can't win for losing. So that shit didn't work. So I go to John Adams Blast. You know, you know what that said. That's on y'all side. You know what I'm saying? Well, that bridge had on 30th. Yes, and, uh, sir. That, man, because I know um, you got John Adams. And then what's the other school right there on Slauson, like by the Avalon? The Junior High right there. Carver? Carver, yeah. yeah Carver, Carver, Carver. Connected. That's on yeah. Vernon and McKinley. Yep, yep, yep. So if you get kicked out of John Adams, they try to send you to Carver. So after John Adams, man, she sent my ass to motherfucking Texas, man. Send me to Texas. Nah, yeah, John Adams. See, I'm telling you, like, but mind you, though, Blast, I ain't even made the seventh grade yet. You know, you know, y'all generation, y'all started, um, y'all started high school. In seventh grade, in high school, I mean, junior high was seventh grade, and high school was 10th grade, right? Right. So 
It seemed like right when I left elementary, that's when they switched that shit. Elementary school to sixth grade. No, so then now, they came in that middle school shit. Yeah, they sent a nigga to middle school in sixth grade. But when I was sitting up in was fucked up. My mama, they still had track. This when they switched the whole school system where you had summer break, right? Uh, but Jose had to control so many different areas, they had to still keep track. Them and manual arts. And they put me on B track, man. And B track, we had to go to school July. I didn't have no summer break. So I'm really still like an elementary student in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing the scrub stories. They gonna take your lunch money and throw you upside down in the bathroom. Like, nigga, not me. I'm gonna find a nigga, the toughest nigga. To, nigga, that's who. Win, lose, or draw, nigga. I'm gonna get my ass with my own. Fuck, I'm gonna be the one gonna defend myself. Right. I'm gonna be all right later. You know what I'm saying? So that always was a problem. All right. So high school, eighth grade, I was in Texas then. Like, I couldn't go to no more schools. It was over. Like, John Muir, I was going to go to John Muir. She already knew once you go over there. Because I should have went there. That's the homies, you know what I'm saying, from the deuces over there. But it was like, man, I'm tired. My mom was tired of that shit. Like, man, goddamn, this nigga ain't even made the seventh grade, man. They say it's can't, can't get past a whole semester nowhere. I got you. you know well, it could, it, it could have been worse, though. blood. You could have been like some of them younger niggas out of your same generation didn't have that opportunity. Blood got popped for something and end up in jail. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They mom out there on that wing limb. Ain't nobody to come get them. Ain't nobody to come get them. So now they forced to be in the system. My mom bring that up to me a lot, man. That's what kind of fucked me up in high school because, like, you know, you guys nut, man. Different ones. You know, that's my brother, man. Um, I didn't grow up like with no fucked up, like, family. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. They just lived in the wrong areas. Like, they had money, man. I didn't have, like, I was the flyest nigga. I had all the clothes, all the gear. I had, you know what I'm saying? I got, half the time I was getting picked up from school, so this shit won't happen, but it's just, I'm, shit happening in school. Um, I did, you know, when I was young, when I first started, I remember a big homie told me, man, you sitting in the spot just playing mad, and you, when he's trying to flip some bitches, why you ain't trying to hustle? You just, you over here every day. I'm like, man, I ain't got to hustle. I'm good. I got money. Like, I can come on, so I'll get like $30 a day for lunch. You know, niggas still got a hustle mentality. So by the time I buy a stress sack of weed or buy me $5 something to eat, nigga, that's a dub. Nigga, I'm saving a dub a day. That's $100 a week. I ain't got to buy no clothes or nothing. So I'm like, fuck it. I ain't got to serve. But then, you know, the homie guy me like, nigga, you know you can flip that shit, though. You feel me? Right. Like, you sit in this motherfucker, nigga. They run in this motherfucker. Nigga, you going down too. Like, nigga, you ain't gonna make no money. Like, fuck all that. You talking about, I know your mama got a big house over there, nigga, on the other side. And nigga, you don't, nigga, you ain't gonna make no money. You just gonna sit here and play the game and, and try to flip some bitches. Flip your money. And that was, I was like, okay, hold on. You know what I'm saying? The money game. And this, this, crazy, this, and this is when you were in high school or middle school time? I ain't made it to high school yet, man. I'm barely in seventh grade, man. I'm a fucking adolescent. I'm 12, man. What, what year was this? Uh, I got rookie of the year in 97. This is about 98. Because 98, 98, 99, when she sent me to Covina. I, I left elementary in 96. I started junior high in 97. No, 97, 98, 99. Because I went to high school. The cold part about that, look, look, the cold part about that, from 96, from no, from like ninety five to late ninety six, I was off the streets. I was in that. I was in. I was behind that wall doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? So I missed. Hey, man, I got back out. When I got back out in ninety six, it was like, what the fuck? Okay, now they coming with cell phones and all types of shit. So Rishi had a cell phone. Huh? They got uh, Xbox sitting now. Man, hey, and they had they got that shit in jail now. That's the cold part about it. Yeah, for real. All right, hold on. Now let me ask. Let me switch this up. Who who did you grow up listening to, bro? Oh Lord, Lord. why? That's another reason why I be wanting to switch what I rap about. Shit. Um, you know, I'm growing up on the y'all generation blast. So I was two years old, nigga, running around singing "Don't Fight the Feeling." Hey, ho, yeah, you you want to fuck? No, it was a white cassette tape. I used to steal it from my brother, Big KD. My mama used to take them from me, and I used to find another one. 
So I knew the whole Life is Too Short album before I was four. And he always played one DMC a lot. So like when he'd be in his low riders or his cars and shit, he, he'd play that. But they used to have uh, VHSs. And I used to, when I used to be in like in the room by myself watching movies, they supposed to be watching Ninja Turtles and all that shit. I put in that Run DMC concert with the uh, Rock Stars. What was the Rock Stars name? It, the song was Rock This Way. Uh, 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 uh for them or something? Kiss. Is it Kiss? Yeah, Kiss. Whoever the rock and roll people was, I was on them. I this is just, just being a kid knowing music, what you hear. Scarface, the Ghetto Boys. Said I was young. Snoop Dogg this dropped with Doggy Style. Warren G came out with Regulate. I knew all that. The Chronic. Um, that fro just hit. That's 90. So now, and now you in I'm the 90s. In now I'm still in shit. My brother going to jail. I'm still in his hats. I want to be like him. Can't fit his shoes. I'm taking all his cassettes. Nigga, now I got NWA. I got all that straight out of Compton. I got um, Young Soldiers before they were relatives. I had that when that first hit. The homies didn't even know who they was. The niggas my age. I'm like, nigga, that's who the relatives were. With date and J2B, a generation conversation. You ain't got the patience. You don't.